All right, hey, what's going on, guys? It's Bossy or Boss Wave here, whichever one you prefer to call me. And today, I'm coming back to you guys on Borderlands pre sequel, and I have another uh, rare and unique weapons guide for you guys. This is episode two. The uh, previous episode, we did the uh, Frostfire SMG. Now, today, we are doing a new gun. It's called the Party Line. Now, here you can see I have the, a Swiss Party Line. The prefix will change depending on what version of the gun you get, but it will always be a Party Line. And uh, basically how you get this gun is the you can only get it in the Holodoom DLC. Um, so um, if you have that, then you already have this gun probably. If not, then uh, basically how you get it is just playing through the story mode of it. Um, if you don't have it, 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 becomes up, it comes up randomly as one of the uh, mission, mission rewards. Um, so if you don't get it, just playing through. Just keep playing through the final round, and hopefully you'll get it as a mission reward choice because it gives you two choices. Which kind of increases your chances a little bit more, but um, eventually I think you will get this gun because it's 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 not a very hard gun to get. I got it just playing through, and uh, uh, you know um, you can get a level sixty version of this gun. I have a level fifty version because I do not have a level sixty character yet. So I just went back on TVHM, got a level fifty version, and uh, so yeah, that's how I have this gun. And uh, as we go through the stats here, the damage is 1,355 uh, times 5, so I don't know what that is. You have to do the math in your head, I guess. I don't feel like doing math right now. I'm on break. Um, the accuracy is 64.3. The fire rate is 1.2. Reload speed is 2.0. Magazine size is 8. The burn damage per second is 939.1. And the ignite chance is 8%. And the red text there says excellent, which if we demonstrate here. I'm going to tell you guys what it means here in a second. Uh, you shoot and it shoots fireworks basically. That's pretty much how the projectiles work and when you reload the gun, since it's a TDR gun, it uh, you know, it shoots up in the air like a rocket. It, it's very similar um, to the Contraband Skyrocket grenade mod. If you're not familiar with that, it's a grenade mod. Came in Borderlands 2. It's also in this game but you can only get it for a limited time during Veterans Day. But um, Basically, it, shoot, it it was a grenade mod that shot up in the air and did fireworks, kind of like how this gun does. Um, now, whether this gun's good or not, I'll show you guys here. I'm going to go kill some kill some Hyperion or doll guys. So I meant to say. I'm going to kill these guys up here. This gun isn't amazing. I mean, it's it's the whole reason why I wanted to show you guys it is because it had a cool design. It was from the Holodome, and uh, you know I thought that you guys might enjoy it. But uh, as you see here, like it only really does damage when it explodes. So like you have to like make sure that you actually hit the target, so that way the bullets bounce off and then you know do the damage that they're supposed to do. Because when you shoot them alone, it doesn't do that much. But then when you if they explode, then it does a bunch of damage. And since it is always fire, this is an always fire shotgun. It uh, isn't that. It uh, isn't that effective against shields and uh, armor, so just gotta make sure when you shoot the target. Cause like, what happens is, is like the bullets come out here and they like bounce off of the target, and then they explode, which is kind of weird for a shotgun. It's very unique, and that's why I thought I'd show you guys this. I'm gonna go out here and kill some more enemies quick, so that you guys can see some more gameplay with it. But uh, the gun isn't. The best gun obviously doesn't kill people enemies the fastest. And right there I got downed. And my Oh this guy's And it's not the most accurate either due to the fact that it's not a hate Hyperion shotgun. It is a TDR shotgun, so it it's not the best shotgun that you can get in this game. That's probably a bad idea. But uh like I said before, it is a pretty cool shotgun to have in your inventory, and, you know, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought right here, I'm just trying to get away from these mob, from these enemies, they're like trying to kill me or something, so I'm going to run up here quickly, so he stops aggering me, god, he's still after me, alright, I think I got him off my radar, so, I'm just going to go over here to be safe. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, 
this is a pretty nice gun to have in your inventory. And, uh, yeah. And I want to apologize to you guys because I told you guys I was going to be uploading more frequently uh, over Christmas break. But I haven't been able to um, due to the fact that I've had so many, like, Christmas and family gatherings. It's New Year's Eve tonight, so um, obviously I'm going to be doing, you know, things with my friends and family. So, um, and the Halo 5 beta has been out. I was going to upload a video of that yesterday because I do have it. But I never got around to it because uh, for some reason the game audio was like overgoing my like overlapping over my voice, so I like couldn't you could, you could barely hear me at all. So I was just gonna go back and re-record some live commentaries for you guys, and I'll try to have those up as soon as I can. But there's no guarantee when that will be. But then again, the Halo 5 beta is available for like three weeks, so we really have plenty of time to get to that. But um, yeah, as I was saying. I apologize, and I'll try to keep up with this series, because I know I've been kind of lacking on this one. I've only done two episodes right now. But, uh, yeah. Okay, now I got that all off, I, I guess that's, I guess that's all I have to say. So, like I was saying, uh, my name is Boss Wave. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe for more Borderlands, the pre-sequel content, and keep up with my Rare and Unique Weapons Guide series. And, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, guys.